what is going on guys so we have a customer that says their daikin gas package unit is blowing cold air everybody's starting to turn their heat on now and realizing some of them don't work so let's go over there take a look see what's going on with this gas package unit all right i've already been in confirm the thermostat is calling the blower's running. I hear the blower running. Um, gas is on. Gas line's a little rusty, but no big deal. All right, let's open it up. We'll see if we have any flash codes, anything like that. All right, if you guys see there, we have one flash. Just one. If we come up here, we look. It says... Um, ignition failure or open rollout switch or open auxiliary limit switch and it tells you a few things to check here gas flow gas pressure gas valve flame sensor flame rollout bad switch or auxiliary limit open all right there's a lot of things to check there oh listen to that i went ahead and gave that a spin Sounds like it's hitting something, huh? All right. Um, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna reset it and see what the hell happens. See if the draft inducer tries to start or anything like that. But it is saying that there's a limit open. So actually, let's try that first. Let's see if this is open. We're gonna take and see if this will click. That clicked, okay. So that means our rollout switch was open. How did that happen? We're gonna fire it up and see what happens. Right, the system is attempting to start. We have a spark, a direct spark ignition here. Only one burner lit. The rest of them just lit. System down now. At bare minimum, we're going to need a new draft inducer. That thing is going and on its way out for sure. Yeah, listen to that thing. So, our flame rollout switch was tripped. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean flames were touching it, it just means that switch was warm enough to trip. And I'm not, the customer's not really sure when it happened because he said he turned the heat on for the first time and it never came on. So we really don't know when this happened. We're going to let this thing cool down and uh, we're going to pull the burners out of it. And uh, so we, we know right off the bat we're going to need a new draft inducer. We're going to see if we need um, new burners too because a lot of times when you have LP, which this is, those burners do get corroded pretty quick. So we're going to pull, we're going to see if we can either clean them or if we have to replace them too. And then we will check the gas pressure and heat rise. All right, we're going to pull some of these wires off remember where they go back so this is going to be our flame sense and then these here are our rollout switch and then our igniter does not unplug so easy so we'll go ahead and we'll leave that on for right now when we take it off we'll take the spark igniter all the way out all right, we got the burners taken off and pulled out here. Now, I want to show you this here. All this came out of them, so they are pretty dirty. We want to make sure we get these cleaned up. Take a look at them. You want to make sure these slits are also have a... They're open, but not too far, because this is how it passes the propane gas to the next burner. 
So you got to make sure that's open, but not too far, because if it's too far, then you will have flame roll out. So let's clean these up, see if we can get them working any better. They're, I've seen them a lot worse than this, but they really are not that bad. Just using a little uh, copper pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner. Make sure we just get in these little grooves. This one is by far the worst one of the three, but even it's not that bad. Take a look in these burners here. Pretty good surface rust on there, huh? What is that? I'm not sure what that is. Hmm. I stuck a brush in there and it cleaned off, so that's fine. Pulled the igniter out. We'll clean that up too. And while we had it out, we went ahead and cleaned the uh, the flame sensor also. All right, so we got the burners all cleaned up. Got everything put back together. Um, I have my manometer hooked up to check gas pressure. So we have it looks like 10.8 coming in, and we're going to start it up and then see what our outlet is. Which this seems a little low for LP coming in, but we'll see. All the burners lighted. First time. Pressure's okay. Let's cover these panels up. Alright, we're still hanging out around 9.6. And then we have a 33 degree temp rise, 103 supply, 70 return. I went to the crawl space and put my probes on the, in the plenum. That temp rise is, um, is fine. That's the only thing I have hooked up right now is my temp probe. I don't have anything else hooked up to measure quick. Um, we'll let it run for a few more minutes, but all this is actually looking okay. Let's check the temp rise on the data plate. The allowable temp rise. back off there is a lot of heat going on inside here yeah, I mean, this is warm not crazy warm but that motor is probably making a lot more heat than normal considering it's uh, on its way out the door I do want to 
want to take a closer look at the heat exchanger though. Taking a closer look at this heat exchanger here. I seen some surface rust on the inside. I'm gonna take a closer look from here. See if we have any soft spots. All right, guys, I've been all over this, this heat exchanger. I can't find anything that's, that's went through. So I think our heat exchanger is in good shape. We're gonna go ahead and put the blower back on. <clears throat> all right, we got the, the termination for the exhaust taken off and you have a little bit of dirt in there. I think that's just uh, kind of showing you that that, that draft inducer just needs to be replaced. It's, it's rusting out. And when we take the draft inducer off to replace it, we'll take this uh, exhaust pipe off and we'll clean it up good. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a new draft inducer and new burners for this guy. Probably a new rollout switch too where it tripped. Um, and yeah, that'll be that. We don't wanna throw too many parts at it. You know, we don't wanna replace just everything, but this draft inducer certainly. Um, the burners are in fair condition. So we're going to go ahead and replace those also because they do have some rusting on the ends of them. And um, we're just going to get the uh, the rollout switch because it tripped. And you don't want that tripping too many times. It is a resettable switch. So we're going to go ahead and just replace that just for, uh, um, just for precaution. All right. We'll fire it back up one more time. Yeah, guys, so I checked with the manufacturer. Those parts are still in warranty and it's still registered to the homeowner. So he will get the parts covered under warranty. He'll just be on the hook for some labor. Draft inducer, three burners, and the rollout switch. I'm replacing them all. So uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, what you guys would have done different. Um, I thought I was pretty thorough with it. We checked the heat exchanger, blower, uh, burners. We, we pretty much checked everything. So uh, I think I came to a pretty good conclusion there. Uh, let me know what you guys would have done. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.